recorded on the 8th of March 2016 in New Seville, Queensland, Australia. Um, after I watched like one of your talks, should just hold it up. What, after watching like one of your talks or something or listening to it, I often feel like quite inspired and yep. Um, and I just find is it is that the faith? Is that faith coming in there? No. Then, no. What is no. that? <laughs> well, yeah, like that's inspiration. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not act, yeah. Okay. And I'm not acting on it. No. And is so that is that why it's not building the faith? Yeah, you're relying on inspiration from another person to guide your actions. Many of you are doing this, actually. I, I need to discuss the difference between that and faith, right? So, so yes, what, you, what many of you are doing is you are being inspired by external sources to do something. Now, inspiration can be, unfortunately, evil, being out of harmony with love purposefully, or good, right? And so this is why how many of you get inspired evilly too to do something and many of you get inspired good in fact there's usually a mixture of inspiration that occurs inspiration comes from external sources so the external source could be someone like myself that you see in the physical or it can be someone in spirit now many of you are getting inspired by the world as well what you see in telly what's presented to you through adver advertisements and so forth and how the world generally acts how your family acts you're getting inspired in that regard but you're also getting inspired through spirits so spirits you know connect with certain things they want you to do and they inspire you to do them whether those things are good or evil depends upon your use of your will Right. So inspiration, inspiration in the while it's good to be inspired, right? And when I say good, this is a fact of life. Inspiration is a fact of life, right? You will, you are going to get influenced by all sorts of people in your life. Just the fact that you've got ears meant that it means that God intended that you are able to be influenced by people saying something to you. The fact that you have taste buds means that God intended. To be for you to be influenced by the things you taste, right? Obviously, if they're bitter or sour, you know, construct <laughs> that out. Um, and if they if they you know not bitter or sour, then you know they're not they're safe to eat and so forth. So God's created all these safety features, but but at the end of the day, you, you God created you to be inspired from other people. So so many of you are afraid of hearing other people what they have to say and what they're suggesting to you and so forth uh, i don't think that's a problem the problem is what you do with it you follow and and yes many of you are getting inspired and then do nothing with it well, i mean for good getting inspired for good and then do nothing with it and that is that is a problem that that is that is, that is a demonstration of the lack of faith, a lack of desire for truth, a lack of desire. It's actually a demonstration of the lack of will to love. The personal development of the will is not developed. So what generally happens for the majority of people is their will is so undeveloped that almost all of their life is governed by inspiration from others, whether it be for evil or good. So unfortunately, for many of you, that's the case. You're carrying around a bunch of spirits inspiring you to do things, carrying around people, you know, past experiences, not releasing those. They inspire you to do things too. So that's different than what I would call aspiration, right? which comes from within oneself. That's the thing that needs to be developed for good. You follow? That's the thing. Aspiration comes from within you. That's, that's an exercise of your will. This is, inspiration is an exercise of my will or someone else's will to influence you. So at this moment, you being present here, I'm influencing you, right? Uh, that's unavoidable. You're present, I'm talking, you're going to get influenced somehow, right? You can choose to listen to the good and get rid of the evil, that's your choice that's the use of your will but in terms of aspiration that comes within you what you choose to do the exercise of your will right and this is where I feel many of you have very few aspirations and mostly rely on inspiration right and really that needs to change you need to rely on aspiration what's coming from the development of your own will 
and rely less on inspiration, what comes from the will of others. And what I'm trying to do is inspire you <laughs> to do that. Does that make sense? So I'm trying to inspire you to give up this addiction to inspiration, because a lot of time it is an addiction, it's a reliance on others, right? Give up the addiction to inspiration and instead have the aspiration to love. Develop within yourself the desire within yourself to love. Now, you're going to need to firstly have some faith that love is possible, that, that, that you can develop your aspiration to love, that you can do it inside of yourself. And what we're trying to do in this course this week is we're trying to help you see that a lot of your progress depends completely upon the exercise of your will. Completely. Even the faith you have is dependent upon the exercise of your will. The amount of truth you want to hear is dependent upon your will. It's not dependent upon many of the things you thought it was, like you know, childhood events or any of those things. Those things happen to you, but they do not determine now how you exercise your will. How you exercise your will comes from your aspiration to exercise your will to love. You follow? So very important to understand that many of you are being inspired, either negatively or positively, but, but that needs to change to be your personal desire to do positive or negative. Right? You need to own your personal desire. Own your personal desire to do the negative and own your, develop your personal desire to do the positive. You follow me? And, and this is what is needed for you to actually progress. So, so inspiration can be good and it can be bad. It just depends on who it comes from. Yep. So God's always trying to inspire you positively, right? but, but most of us, as we've discussed, are blocked to God, so we're not feeling the inspiration. Someone like myself comes along and tries to inspire you positively, but because you're blocked to positive inspiration, because of all the negative things, you, there's a tendency to block that, and also because of the lack of personal responsibility to develop an aspiration from within yourself. That's one reason why you're willing to come along and be inspired, but if I don't have a presentation for two years, all the inspiration gets lost and, and you just go ahead with your life as it was before. Yeah. And that's because of the lack of personal aspiration to actually engage the process. Yep, good question. Thank you.